And that is where we begin. Uh, Haley Wooden with uh, Business in Vancouver joining us today. And of course, we are talking about the way the markets are reacting after the FBI says it will no longer be pursuing this investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails. That's right. And as you just saw there, markets across the board are pretty much up. U.S. stocks are higher. The U.S. dollar has posted some of the biggest gains we've seen in weeks. And that, that positive feeling has expanded beyond U.S. borders. European markets up by over 1%. Most Asian markets up as well. Mexican peso has actually risen 2%. That's sort of served as a bellwether when it comes to sentiment around this election. Now, according to many analysts from Bloomberg, Reuters, City. We're going to see more of the same if it looks like Clinton is going to be our next president. Now, if the tides turn a little bit and it looks like Trump will be the front runner, we can expect to see more movement toward gold or the Swiss franc or other safe haven assets. Both of those, though, down this week on this news. All right. And uh, news today, Ottawa is announcing it will introduce an air passenger bill of rights in the coming months. What will this mean for people? This will mean that we'll finally have some standard regulations when it comes to how air carriers in Canada handle things like overbooking, lost luggage, and delays. Now, currently, it's up to each individual air carrier to determine how they handle complaints around this and how they compensate passengers if they choose to at all. Now, in other markets, such as the U.S. or Europe, there is a standard set of regulations and compensation guidelines. It sounds like we'll be seeing something similar here in Canada, although at this point, there aren't many details around it. I think one thing we can be sure of, though, is that many people would welcome even a minimum set of standards when it comes to this. Yeah, exactly. Some better protection for consumers. That's right. All right, Haley, thank you so much for joining us today.